this is Sherry Patton Ceramics, and today we're making a cat foot. Uh, when you see the cat's foot, usually it, the little um, tiny claws are uh, hidden because they retract when the cat is walking. Uh, however, if you turn over the cat paw, you see, uh, especially if you squeeze right here, the claws come out, and uh, they're very, very long. So we're just going to go ahead and start making this. I'm going to get a big piece of clay here because uh, I'm trying this video on a uh, a lower um, quality level. So I'm just going to make everything extra large here. So you're just going to begin by rolling out a piece of clay. Use your palm, your palm only. And then you're going to bend the clay at the bottom like this to make that paw area. Now it's really, really important uh, if you want that cat to stand, you need to bounce this against your work surface and bounce it the other way. So one way and then the other way. Because then it's going to make the back of that area stronger that, so that it can stand like this. Now when you do that, you're going to have a big crease right here. You want to take a little piece of clay, dip it in water, and squeeze it in that little crease. Because if you leave it there, it's going to want to crack right in that area. Notice how small the paws are. There's not much of them really meeting the ground. They're much, much smaller than like the dog's claws. As far as being shorter. Here we go. So now I've blended this in and I'm blending in this other part of the foot. And now I'm going to just take the needle tool or you could use a paper clip and I'm going to clip right down the center right here all the way through. And then I'm just going to separate that into two pieces. I'm going to make this one a little bit fatter than this one. Notice how short, how uh, we don't go in all that far. It went a little bit too far. And now you're just going to pull up the, pull these toes apart. If you can't, if they're a lot smaller than this, then you'll just want to use the part of a wooden tool. And you can see that really separates them out, makes them look really nice. And now for the bottom. Well, actually, let's just squeeze here just a little bit because they are out just a little bit from the leg. So I'm squeezing in here on the side. Now, after I just round these a little bit more, to flip it over and smooth this area here. And then I'm going to make those pads. Take a tiny piece of clay, roll it in your fingers. Best to do them all at once so then you can put the ones that are slightly bigger in the middle too. Seems like too much. And now I'm going to take that ball and I'm going to roll it side to side. And that's going to make it a little more elongated, more like an oval. So this is one of the small ones. I'm going to dip it in water and put it at the center of that and squeeze. If it gets too fat, just squeeze it this way to make it skinnier. And the other small one. So back and forth. Uh -oh. My fingers are getting a little bit wet, so it's best to roll it down there. And now I'm going to put the next one on. Again, back and forth to make it an oval shape. 
put it in the water. This is nice sticky clay. You would have to score and slip if your clay is drier. If you made, for example, the foot the day before, and now you're adding these little details. So you would add these if you're going to have the foot up so that you can see the inside paw. Otherwise you have it pretty easy because you just have to do this part. And now I'm going to make that little shape. It looks like a half moon. So I'm just going to push the clay up and then bend down the sides a little bit. And look at the other side, see how that looks. See if it's large enough. Let's see, it goes this way. Yeah, when I squish it down, it'll be large enough. So now I'm just squishing it down. Playing with the shape a little bit. And then if you want to to look a little more dangerous. You can do the little tiny claws on the end. But like I said, usually they don't uh, show. If you want to make him so that he has his claws out though, you could just add them like this. Just take it, roll it, more pressure on the end here, and squish, and then you've got a claw dip it in the water, and you'd add it about halfway down, just like that. So there's your kitty, kitty foot.